I think the Scottish National Party, have, uh, they've got an issue here, they've got a problem, because obviously their number one policy is to be independent, the, Scot you know, the Scottish National Party, the says, it, says it on the yeah. tin. So Nicola Sturgeon is, or anyone who's in the SNP is going to keep pushing for this. It's always going to be there. So the Scottish people have got to put this to bed. And I think in the last referendum, it, it was closer than I think anybody thought it was going to be. So it wasn't put to bed. But the issue that Nicola Sturgeon has is she's now the party of power and the party, um, you know, she's the, she's the ruling class now. And she's also not liked in Scotland. So there's two different things happening here. Should Scotland become independent? And then should are people going to vote for that, knowing that the SNP is the, the ruling party? And I think that's the problem for the SNP. Personally, I don't see anything wrong with further, you know, with, with places sort of managing their own finances and, and devolving from Westminster. You know, we, we've talked every week on this programme about how chronic Westminster is and how it lets you know people down so perhaps devolving power is a way to stop that so I'm not against you know if that's what the people of Scotland wants then I'm you know I would fully I could Scotland understand that is massively subsidized from England with the mm -hmm. Barnet formula yeah. so they, they need money and they need subsidy to keep them afloat if they had to you know, provide all the money for themselves but, in taxation I mean heaven knows what state of the